So you are going to Thailand, but should you ride one of these? Let's find out. What's up everybody, I'm Phil from DVTV and I have been riding scooters all over Thailand for a combined period of over a year by now. So in this video I want to answer the question, should you ride a scooter in Thailand or not? Why ride a scooter in Thailand? Let's go over what makes riding a scooter in Thailand so good. You just saw the riding shots, it is so much fun. Riding a scooter in this kind of weather, under palm trees, along beaches or up and down the mountains gives you a certain amount of freedom that you will not get if you always have to take a taxi. Which brings us to the next point. The scooter is by far the most flexible way to go around in Thailand. Thailand's infrastructure is super scooter friendly. Most of the times you can park your scooter in front of wherever you are. Doesn't matter if it's your hotel, a small restaurant, a mall or even the airport. Parking is always right there and it's always free. But not only that, because of busy traffic, the scooter is also the fastest way to get from A to B as you can make your way through miles of barely moving cars and trucks. Renting a scooter in Thailand should cost you between 2,000 and 3,500 baht per month depending on condition, model, area and time of the year. Once you paid for rent, gas should be fairly cheap. It's about 30 baht for one liter and a full tank should last you a while. Little tip on the side, avoid places that want to keep your passport as a deposit. Although a normal deposit at decent places is about 1,000 to 3,000 baht and so far I always got my deposits back. Most rental places will not ask to see a valid driver's license and they will rent out any kind of bike to anybody. If the police stops you and you do not have a valid driver's license, it's your problem, not the rental places. But don't worry, if that happens, you can always just pay the cops a 500 baht fee right on the spot. And the craziest part is afterwards, they will just let you drive off still not having a driver's license. Sounds too good to be true. It is! But please bear in mind that riding a scooter in Thailand comes at a substantially higher risk than it does in your home country of being injured or even worse. And that is because of the number one reason why you should not ride a scooter in Thailand. The traffic in Thailand is chaotic. It is very easy to obtain a driver's license for Thais or even drive without one. Traffic regulations might be in place but seem to be almost not enforced at all. Cars often completely ignore lanes or red lights and in general don't seem to think ahead a lot. And if you are used to stronger vehicles like trucks and cars being cautious with weaker ones like scooters or bicycles, in Thailand it is the opposite. It's in the interest of the weaker vehicles to better watch out for the bigger ones because well, you are weaker and you would suffer the consequences. Nobody gives you any room on the street and it's very normal for big trucks to drive up way too close behind you, cutting you off on a regular basis or just push you to the side. There are other smaller factors like most Thai cars having black windows which makes it impossible to see the drivers making it even harder to anticipate their behavior. There's also an increasing tendency for a lot of drivers to constantly texting on their phones while driving. So therefore, there are a couple very important questions that you should ask yourself before riding a scooter in Thailand. Number one, are you an experienced motorcycle rider? Are you familiar with the technical aspects of riding a motorbike and does it come natural to you? Because if you don't know how to ride a bike, the streets of Thailand is not the place to learn how to. Number two, do you get nervous, insecure or pressured in crazy traffic situations? 
you will be surrounded by cars, other scooters, trucks and all kinds of traffic participants that will put you into all kinds of weird traffic situations and pressure you. So you better be able to keep your cool. Number 3. How good are you in adjusting to left-sided traffic? In Thailand, people drive on the left-hand side, which makes it even more difficult to you if you are not used to it. And number four, are you willing to wear a helmet at all times? If you just plan on not wearing a helmet because you see other people doing that, or you're just too cool to wear one, you better just stay away from any kind of bike. So in the end, it's really up to you. And if you feel like you check all the necessary points, I can just recommend to go for it. On the other hand, if you have any doubt, maybe just don't risk it. But if you decide to, here are seven quick tips. Number one, renting the scooter. Check for tire pressure, damages, how good are the mirrors and especially how good are the brakes. Stay away from any scooters that are way too old and crappy. Regarding the deposit, it's okay to leave one to three thousand baht, but never leave your passport. Number two, carry a driver's license as well as your international driver's license. The international one is only valid in combination with the normal one. Number three, don't use the helmets from the rental places. They are just horrific. Go to a store, buy a helmet like this, at least like this, these helmets are still not great but they are a thousand times better than the ones from the rental places and these are around 20 to 25 dollars number four don't ride too aggressively but also don't ride too passive if you're too passive you will just get pushed away so just adjust to the speed and go with the flow number five always anticipate the others not to anticipate anything so just be aware of sudden stops sudden maneuvers sudden turns and anything like that aka just don't get too comfortable and be aware Tip number six, always carry 500 baht in cash with you in case the cops stop you and you have to pay the standard fine. And last but not least, tip number seven, stay safe and have fun. And ride like it's stolen. Okay, that was not a good tip. Don't ride like it's stolen. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I could help some of you with decision making about riding a scooter in Thailand or not. Unfortunately, I've seen too many wrecks, too many crashes and blood on the streets of Thailand. It's not a joke. If you're only there for a week or two, the odds are you will not see any of that and you just think it's totally fine to ride around without a helmet in your t-shirt and shorts and just sandals on. But the truth is that the traffic death rate in Thailand is horrific. So please be aware, only ride a scooter when you know how to or ride with a person that knows how to adjust to the traffic don't go crazy and anyways if you like the video give us a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you have any experience with riding a scooter in thailand or a similar country and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you next time bye